An amazing doubleheader we just wrapped up outside of Salt Lake in Grantsville, Utah, and this was round number four for Prospect. So this was the championship round. And what we saw was Blake Olson take the win. He had this to say. Blake for inside clips, he does it. He's been going after that win for three years and you have done it. How do you even put this moment into words? It's hard. Um, it's obviously it's a team effort. Couldn't do this. Sometimes we're almost I'm almost by myself in the early parts of the season. We hustled in the pits, you know, really, really undermanned, but I can't thank my dad, my team, everyone, just all the sponsors obviously. TNBC coming on board, GT Radio has been huge. Um, this is this is big. This is everything we've been working for. I mean all the countless hours spent in the shop, money, tears, everything like that. It's it's finally all come together. And what do we have to look forward to for you for next year? Unsure. I'd like to see, I don't know, we're going to see sort of what I can do with funding and that determines what we're doing. But I mean, we're going to be running something. So it depends what series we're running and whatnot, but we'll, uh, we'll definitely be out there. Our second place finisher was Derek Madison. We saw him get a second place in St. Louis and this is what he had to say in Salt Lake. Hopefully a couple more podiums. Uh, we had a uh, back-to-back second places, hometown, and here to finish it off. Finished second place in the championship, so... Uh, Super stoked to be here. So hopefully we'll get something good together for next year, bring it back, and uh, don't know about pro or pro spec yet, but we'll see what happens. But I'm freaking stoked. So. And it seems like a really emotional moment for you right now. What are you processing? Uh, worked a lot for this. Worked really hard. It's been a long four years, so feels good. Then of course, finishing off the podium was Andy Haitley, and he said this. I. It's kind of hard. It was kind of hard when I won first too. Um, today was ups and downs. I felt like I lost the first battle. I know we had great leads. This is a really tough track. So just about everybody was making small mistakes in certain areas. Nobody kind of had the track down perfectly. And um, yeah, just ups and downs. And here we are. I, I believe we got third in the championship. We got third at this round and I couldn't have asked for a better day. I mean, it's amazing. This track is amazing. I can't wait to head over there, get on the podium. Have a couple beers with my guys after this, eat some pizza, and uh, hang out at the Airbnb and celebrate. All right. And what's in store for <laughs> oh, you? Oh, we got s'mores tonight, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's in store for you for 23? Uh, hopefully uh, Pro One. Hopefully. Um, we're trying to get our budget together, trying to get some sponsors together. And um, the car, I believe, is capable. We just need to refine it a little bit, get the big tires on there, and get some testing. And um, hopefully we'll be out here next year. We wrapped up Formula Drift Prospect Series, and it was rookie Robert Thorne that took that championship. He uh, was a little lost for words, but he did find the ability to say this. Just literally speechless after that last run, and uh, we got it done. We got it done just barely, but we got it in there. The car was awesome, the team, ASM, the boys did an amazing job all season. And uh, those cumulative points finally paid off and we got it in there, so it's really exciting. And I've heard a story that you just started drifting two years ago with the Miata, is that correct? <laughs> yeah, 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 2020 was my, uh, tw late 2019 was my first drift event, and my first competition was 2021, so it's the uh, second year comp, and uh, still learning a lot. Okay, and what's next for you in 2023? Not sure, we'll at least be back in FD for sure. So. For Formula Drift Pro, we had round number seven here in Grantsville, Utah, and it was a wild one. We saw Chelsea Denofa grab third, and he mentioned this. It was very cool. Uh, just the progression and watching everybody click and start figuring the track out, or like overdriving because they needed to, to be able to keep up with everybody. Like I was kind of all over the map. Good runs, bad runs, overdriving, underdriving. It was like all over the place. And I still, to this moment, I don't really feel that comfortable on the track. So I'm happy to be on the podium. I've been very comfortable on tracks and ended up out in 32, so I'm happy for sure. Looking at our second place finisher, he and the team worked so hard on getting that car back on track, but Frederick Osbo grabbed second and mentioned this to us. This was one for the books. Um, obviously, we would have loved to run the finals here against Ken, but seeing him win, it, it's, you know, it's, it's heartwarming. We know how much he's fighting for this. And for us too, we've, we've had a little bit of a, of a tough uh, mid part of the season. Uh, so to get back on the podium, uh, do some clean, hard driving, uh, felt great. You know, qualifying first here, 
and, and sending it as hard as I could against Chelsea. And at first I thought we were at fault, but he decelerated pretty hard, so it was his mistake. And you know, I, I feel I feel really stoked following this uh, this day here in Utah. We haven't seen this man on the top step of the podium since 2019 in Irwindale, and Ken Gushi feeling so grateful, even if he was a little uncomfortable, told us this. Ken Gushi, yes. you freaking did it! Woo! <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. And again, the storyline here has been how honest and candid you've been about how uncomfortable yeah. you were, but man, it brought the best out in you. Yeah, I guess, uh, well, my spotter, Mang, was telling me, you know, we got to dial in so much grip to the car that it makes you feel uncomfortable. And that's all we've been doing all weekend was just making me feel so uncomfortable about driving the car. And it took me literally until the final run with the by run to finally figure out, okay, that's how I'm supposed to drive this track. But, um, you know, a lot of the battles that I went through today, the outcome was pure uh, luck. And um, uh, again, luck is a part of skill that I believe. So I'll take it. Would have really loved to have that final battle with Frederick, but a win is a win, so really happy, really stoked. And Ken, what can you, is there anything that you can take from uh, today that you can apply to Irwindale? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every time we drive the car, it's a learning experience for us. And the one big thing I learned today was really get the car so gripped up that it makes you feel uncomfortable, and then we'll work from there. And that was a huge asset to this weekend for myself, was just, you know, make it so fast, that uh, it scares the hell out of me. I was scared. Can't we made think. it. Thank you. <laughs>